stuff alive. Just traditional Sixless, right? This time he is with the team. Sixless just somehow has the hey, look at the oh oh hey i was gonna say we saw those two members crawling up to sixes and st daddy sixes is gonna be like i got you boys i got you just crawl over I i'm there i'm there and then that grenade as the crash is coming in now passion for nova the perfect pinch g fans Ooh. able to find back against one sleepless sleepless oh my goodness straight out gunning them there's no way Aphelion doesn't know he's there. Are they leaving him alive knowing that he's going to third party? Pain allows the first aid to come back off. Nico is there as well, staring it down, waiting to pull the trigger. Waiting for Nico to leave so he can confirm the kill. Take the shot. You got to take the shot. I mean, he's Especially been now patient. Now the next set is continuing to push in. His, his slap gets dropped. This is a huge opportunity. Juicy goes down. He's going to be 3v3. The push up the hill. J7 is here. Getting the opening frag. Well, one player is slowing down. The other ones are keeping on going. There, finally, the third party comes through. But the damage we've already been done. Avelian's going to be pushed off the high ground here. Two members are already down. Looking to make it a third. And Avelian drops. Oh, my goodness. More power to you. Hey, you secure that second place team. There you go. I mean, that second place spot. And Exit, once again, taking the chicken dinner. Oh, okay, well, I spoke too soon as uh, a full send out of HQA smashing in with the buggies is not going to work out. Nesquik pops up over the wall, gets a knock, and I don't think they managed to get that trade. Cross now, the only person at this... Oh, they did get a trade. It's a one for one. Now it's a 3v3. Another player, two players on the wall. HQA going back and forth. Cross using that timing from that grenade. That was not the play. HQA coming in strong now. It looks like they have the upper hand. Dior Esports trying to stabilize here. HQA looking to put the nail in the coffin. The jump shot around the corner gets it done. Chi Wong's there. It all comes down to the last player. They've got some awareness of where you here is. This is a 1v2 situation. On the outside, the shots are raining in, and that's just going to be the end of it. HQA, they're able to come out on top, but hang on a second, Zute. It does not stop. Hearing the, th uh, hearing the bullets, seeing the kill feed, the Panthers are looking to strike, and this is... What Sandhawk is all about is multiple teams are coming in. The hit list is here as well. And this is this is nowhere near circle. The circle just shifted, and no one is in the circle here. It's the tension we were talking about. I think all the players are feeling it too. It's a little bit too quiet. I want to shoot my gun. The instant those gunshots here, we have four teams that are gonna die and fight on this hill right now. HQA, the next team to go out. What is this madness, Enverum? Sam L is here, a stellar fragger, but what can he do with the frags themselves? Find one down, good amount of damage. Goes in with the Uzi, what can he do? Finds another one as well, the one-man wrecking crew. Sam L is here, three members are down. It comes down to 1v1 in the corner. Can he find the peak? And he does, 19 esports putting the ghosts to rest. And just like that, it comes down to level X and Nova. The push is coming in. It's a 2v2 situation. To make it a 2v3. McCarty is actually getting quite low here. Rin is holding strong. Nova is somehow being able to hold on to this. But here comes Shunu on the outside. Trying to sweep in. Beast is here around the corner. Take the 1v1s, the trade. And in the end, it comes down to level X. Leveling up here. The end of game number two. J7 does have support from the back line. Great setup, Juicy from the low ground. We are talking about Juicy on the off angle. He gets one, but gets traded instead. And EFC, two versus three. The rest of EFC, uh, Exit coming over to help. This fight is going to determine who controls this side of the castle. I cannot believe J7 is still alive. He finally goes down, but he bought enough time as Nico comes in as well. Can't quite find the shots with the Tommy, but they are still there nonetheless. Exit. It is still going to be a 3v4 situation if the survive can go through long range nade there from kill switch. And it finds Moso. Are you kidding me? When it all comes down to who can get the first knock once again, and it's Pro Era able to strike back. Nico's got to go huge, got to go clutch. Able to try and identify. It's Moso able to strike back, finding the kill there himself. And Nico falls. Finally, Pro Era gets some back for themselves. They take it, and they take it over X set. Everybody's getting involved on the kill feed, but that was huge now. Zute, now they can focus in on the Knights who are actually able to bring all four players to this. How do they keep everybody alive? It is a, it is a great third party opportunity to almost. No one from Ghost went down to the Passion Fruits, but Knights taking advantage of this, going for the push. They pushed up that crucial spot. Ghost Gaming gave up this small hill and this is allowing Knights to go in big. And Knights, the Knights, 
take over that castle. Ghost Gaming, I like the idea. Hey, clean out our backsides fast so we can have an isolated fight with the next team over, which would have been the Knights, but they committed three players to taking out Passion Fruit. And they only left one player to hold that hilltop. And with four of Knights pushing straight up, Beowulf, he had to back up or he would have been shot down by the four enemy players. And just backing up, giving up that slight terrain control. You saw how much of an importance it played for the Knights to just run straight over Ghost Gaming and secure themselves a huge chicken dinner. And now he's going to start putting some work on the return to Lazarus. His blue zone's coming. It is just him up the up front. He's got to make sure not to get double peaked. Not to get baited out by Telly here. But since Telly ran out a little too quickly, Chico was able to go ahead and get that finish. Navy in the far back line. I think he's going to be sticking and healing. Oh, he did catch Sickless. He saw something. And you can see Chico just hunting down. The oh, the back, back. back. Oh, play zone. Play zone knocked him. Oh, the play zone. Okay, so now it's up to Navy, that uh, bench player from Lazarus. They swapped out Roll Ooh. Kiss. Navy not able to pull that one through. I'll tell you what, Juicy. If you wanted something for your birthday, how about this zone? I don't think you can beat that at all. I mean, they got this one in the bag. We support farmers way there at the corner. Only There's only three solos. Yeah, so this should be an easy dub for Xset, not to mention some good solid kills. You can see Frazer just snaking his way through the grass little by little, trying to sneak up, trying to make a play, but good luck trying to take out that full squad of four. Alucard, he's going to be holding down in the blue zone. He's only got one first aid left, but Poppy healing up all day long. Who, who are Xset shooting? That's what I want to know. I, I hear all four of them taking some shots. Well, they nice. wanted to shoot somebody. Now they got themselves a target out here in the blue. And Playzone is going to act up taking away that kill. Panthers getting third place, at least minimum. Oh, grenade from Frazer. That would have been deadly. If I caught them all, wee. Can he pull out a miracle? It's not Christmas. <gasps> that hurt him up pretty good, it looks like. Oh, he spotted. Okay. That's it. That is more than double the amount of points that they've gotten all day today. Just from this placement alone. Oh, there's bottom. There goes. Going for the kills anyway. <laughs> Poppy. Poppy. Oh, he's going to die. He's going to die blue. Three. Two, one. See you. Oh, there you go. Poppy. I like how he did that little head nod. He did that little head nod. He was just like, and good day, sir. You know, it's all over, baby. Exit. What did the big chicken dinner here? Nova versus 19 Esports. Let's go. Let's see Carnage trying to make some plays. He's able to get one knock, but she fed coming in really quickly to come help out the rest of his squad. Gets the thirst as well. Here comes Acer running in. Nade in hand. Going to have to make a play. Oh, the rest of the ITE, they come in. And they're going to be able to catch him in the back. HCL is out of position. And now it's she fed up on top by himself trying to make a heal onto his teammate. He's going to get that res in time. Quick stairs play, though. Not gonna get, not gonna work out for him. Gonna get shut down. 19E trying to catch. Oh, Tensa. Tensa down to one HP after that grenade. Lazarus, they're gone. Nine teams remaining here in the final game. And that nade is gonna take down Tensa. And you know, Sam's gonna be throwing the follow up, trying to get that thirst. 19E versus Ghost. Oh, it's a party out here. It's a party out here. More grenades coming out. Another it's one. a party. It's a party. Flash could really play spoiler, though, on Ghost Gaming. I don't think Ghost Gaming are aware of Flash on that off angle. They're playing a 3-1. Ghost Gaming in oh. this game. More grenades landing right on top of Ghost Gaming. It's up to spec right now. I mean, Sam is just throwing all the nades in the same spot. Spec, where's your health? He's got a boost up to 1 HP. We support farmers. A duo, two up, Grave trying to toss out some grenades, trying to at least take out one member from the hit list with 14 kills this game. They're feeling good. There goes Zorf as well. They want more, and they're going to get them all, baby. The hit list shutting it down, literally putting all these squads on their list. That's super smart. Oh, he did get spotted, though, and just in time, Nico gets caught there by Dior. And, and I really like the fact that Xset didn't shoot because they're so far out of zone that they didn't want to give away their position just yet. But Dior with the good eyes and that Spidey sense popping off. Juicy going to have to try to make a play. He pulls out the shotgun with the DBS. Does catch one of them, but the rest of the squad 
They're gonna be completely separated, so they're gonna lose two, and they're gonna push right with the blue zone. So they threw out those smokes really good. They're gonna be able to get to that broken wall, most likely. I don't know about Juancho's off angle. Nope, they're getting beat up, pieced up apart, big time, by Lazarus, by Nova. Both of them trying to take out AFC on this rotation. Spray down to one HP, one good solid aid. That's it. I don't know if Rin has an angle. He's gonna be looking for it. And EFC crawling their way, just so low, gonna be bunching up, trying to get those resets. Woo! Nova crossing EFC. the street. Yeah, crossing the street at the same exact time while EFC was able to get behind their broken wall. This wall is in the zone. Hopefully they can get the resets, but memory up close and personal with six. Let's cook these grenades. Oh, and he's trying to pop, catch him slipping, and Brokits is going to get caught by one of them. Ooh, oh, here's a fire! And a molly. Six is going to be taking that one to the dome. Look at these mollies. Look at the fire starting to spread. Roll Kiss able to get on top of the couch, avoid the damage. Lazarus, they got the full reset right now. They're in the hard cover. Coops, though, unleash the beast. Here we go. Waiting for her to catch him slipping, and oh, Sixless is gonna steal it, and Sixless able to eat that Molotov like it's no tomorrow. If you look at his player picture, his hair is red and ready for it. We can see a fate trying to be able to make some plays, which is the guns. Gat loses the 1v1, but there's just a big back and forth. EFC versus Lazarus for the chicken dinner. Who's gonna be able to catch it? Rokis, run, oh, real super risky jumping out, but he has no choice, they have to. Yeah, Sixless gonna have to be forced out the building, but that open angle from EFC just proving too strong, and that is a huge, huge chicken dinner for EFC, considering that they did not make it the first super weekend. And that is so risky, you can see how the desperation in their eyes as J7, Oh, a nice, a oh, nice return shot from Killswitch. And he's just holding this down on his own. Here he goes, the Fame Boys. Gonna take him down. And he's just piecing up the unnamed, but Bucky peeks at the perfect time. Looking for that sandwich action against Dior. We'll see what they can be able to make some plays. Dior, they need to do something. They need to survive here. Flawless gonna get taken out by Alexi from JCR, so there goes Dior out in seventh place. Not sure how many kills they ended up with, so we'll see where they end up on the leaderboards after this one. JCR, nine kills, man. These guys are popping off here, Bachelor 2. Look at this unnamed, Bucky! A team that really needs some points, and he is doing it big for his squad here at the end. We'll see right now, JCR. Oh, a beautiful nade. They're not gonna connect, surprisingly. Oh, Bucky, still causing issues! 419E, and the zone isn't too far away, but it's a complete open field, and he's got a horrible spot. And they are going to be able to because they're so focused on all the other fights going here. And Bucky, oh my goodness, racking up points for the unnamed. And remember, Rin knows for a fact that there's going to be an enemy over here. They spotted him out earlier on. Sheep and Rin working together as a duo. Meanwhile, Memory playing that anchor position, the spray down. Taking out the snakes in the grass, AKA Bucky from the unnamed Xset in the Knights. This is a huge fight right now in the fields. Oh yeah, you can see Alucard trying to make some shimmies, trying to make some plays, but Juicy's gonna shut that down quick with that Tommy gun coming into play. Soli trying to catch Juicy now. He's gonna see him out in the open and he's gonna catch him. Easy flush for Soli here. Is he gonna be able to catch the rest of Xset? And he's uh -oh. looking to make sure there's uh -oh. nobody laying right next to it. But look at Soli. Soli solo. Oh. Killing. Oh, gonna take out Kill Switch. Right as he got crossed up. So here comes J7. Gonna have to try to make some plays. Ooh, some beautiful shots there. Where's his team, though? He, I, if I'm Soli, you gotta just wait. Just wait. Don't push this. Ooh. It's, it doesn't matter, though. He's gonna go ahead and say, I'm pushing it anyway. I'm gonna challenge this 1v1, and I win those. EFC. EFC. Looking to finish what they started just moments ago. Roll kiss, fate. Oh, roll kiss tagged right there. It's up to fate to save the day. Hit fire. I hear the Uzis. I hear the Tommy guns. Kaboom goes the grenade and Lazarus taking out 14th position. The unnamed. They're cliffs right here. Very strong spot, but Sleepless was able to get into the zone behind the tree and connect on the fanboys. Oh, hey, go for the, oh. the flick. The flick on the carnage. Sleepless. The unnamed got taken out. So EFC secure a top two finish with just one left. Oh, <gasps> one one. he gets a knock. <gasps> it's a 1v1. 1v1 sleepless. And he can see him. EFC can win this easily. Big nade. Can he hit He's it? Cooking it. Cooking it. Is your nade? Awesome it. That's going to do some damage. Looking for the follow-up. Oh, man. That, that is money. 
Oh, that is beautiful. money. That's beautiful. Oh, oh, no, no, baby, get out of here. Get out of here. What a beautiful nade from EFC to take match number three. The belly and the Ghost Gaming are going at it. Feliant and Ghost Gaming, and look, it looked like, oh my god, I was gonna say, it looked like Ghost was about to lose that fight, and now it's just down to Lolo. It's lit, oh, okay, it's a, it's a 1v, it's a 1v2. Tensa's healing up, Spec gets knocked, Lolo 1 HP, I think Tensa does finish off that first aid kit. Tensa should secure this 1v1, I've never seen him lose a 1v1 before, and this is in such a big advantage. Oh, I might be jinxing it, oh my god, I just jinxed it on broadcast live to one of my most favorite players, Tensa. I am sorry. Pro Air is looking to get in here. They need to go big today. They need to put some points up on the board. They know it, we know it. Let's see if they can show it up against Xset. The revive comes through, but Nico's here on the flank. He's got the vector in hand. As you can see, all these different angles. Nico there with the shot. J7's gonna drop once again, though, as kill switch is here, trying to find this angle. And around the doorway, can they confirm the kill? They do, so this is a rough spot for Xset as Nico drops as well. Era actually able to make this work. Kill switch the last one standing and the last one to fall. Nice third party coming in from Era. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. EFC, they know this is taken, right? I think they did the scouting, but yeah, they probably know it's taken. They just literally want to push in. Good nade by Stevo. Overshoots it just a little bit. I like the idea, but it's a 3v2. Juancho in the distance for that support. Coops gets the opening. Fears goes down to a nade. Now Salt trying to hold that stairs. Get shot in the back. He, he's got to run back. Defensive Molotov. Really great use. That's going to buy him a couple of seconds, but he might get grenaded up there, and he might get mollied himself. Wancho comes in though to try and back him up. They can jump, actually try and jump out of this, but Koops is here, one of these up and coming star players looking to prove it here in the fight. CFC now goes down into 2v2 situation around the corner. Wancho with the drop shot. Nicely done. Continues to hold the angle. Salt is going to go down as well. Carnage is here. All comes down to Koops. Looking to continue to leverage this. Can secure the points while you can in a 1v1 situation now, but a third party potentially coming on through. And Koops is going to shut it right on down. Passion Fruit goes out, but the fight does not stop. 19E is here. You said it was going to be quiet, Sute, but all I can hear are gunshots as 19E to put this nail in the coffin, but it doesn't and stop it doesn't because stop the hit there. list is here too. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? What is this, Inverum? Every fight we've witnessed has led to at least a third party. Around the high ground to try and get additional bit of angle. angle. What he's also doing is he's scouting all the teams around them to tell them how much time they have before a potential third party comes in. But they need to be worrying about the fight that's right in front of them, Zute, as Chris does go down, but a nice shot back against Carnage. This is now a 2v2. Yeah, 19 e just really wants to finish out this fight. They realize that with so little teams left on the zone, if they kill this team, they probably have the whole northern side of the circle to themselves, which they would if they finish off this fight. Now it's a 2v2, I believe. Trickster pushing up with that Tommy gun, going super aggressive, and he was actually the last player caught in that 2v1 crossfire. Nice little angle these two players are setting up. This is an opportunity, and Sixless is taking it. Finds one, can't even the second. Telly is trying to do the work at close range down there. As Skies is coming in on the outside, though, they realize all four players need to be here. Everyone needs to get involved, and Skies is there. It all comes down to Telly, the last one standing. Memory is going to drop. Telly finds a second. Kelly is still going. Can he find the last one? No! G-Fan barely gets it done. Done, but Nova is in pieces. Fox might come in to try and deal the killing blow. Nova adjusted, not wanting a situation that happened to Ghost yesterday where they didn't allocate resources correctly. Instead, they brought all their guns to bear. And because of this, they are very likely to walk away with the win as Fox does go down and Nova Esports secure the chicken dinner. Syndicate, one player knocked. It's a 3v2 situation right now with you here and Rad knocked, but oh, Rain. Go or brain going in big, going for that thirst, but he doesn't see the other player. The other player's behind the bush. He's right there. Brain. <laughs> brain, you know, putting his to some use. Not quite able to find the kill there, but to be fair, 
Erwi was right in that bush. Oh, here we go. Pro Air moving to Mazexus. This is the fight we were talking about. Zute, hang on a second. The second I get complacent, this jumps out right back at us. Joey around the corner. Batman looking to confirm it with the Tommy gun back and forth. They're going to drop and go down. Mazexus does it. They defend their position. If Tensa and crew aren't careful, if they take these split fights too much in the 2v2, they may find themselves in just that as the shots are continuing to rain out. But Spec picks up the first down onto Carnage. Zute, this is looking like it could be the end. Or the beginning of a chicken dinner for Ghost. Xenox, he knows, yeah, he, he's just That's like, it. I, I'm done, I'm done. And Ghost Gaming on the final game of the regular week, they pick up that chicken dinner.